Memorial services held tonight for a man making an impact through his art. KTSM 9 News reporter Susie Castillo has more on how the community is remembering the Sandman. Hello, everybody. I am the Coronado Sandman. Albert Avila spent his last years in El Paso, but it wasn't just here where he made an impact. People here adore him. People in Southern California loved seeing his work too. That's where his grandson says he heard a voice. And that's where he first would, heard the voice to tell him to draw something with the sand. And he didn't know what. He always said that he felt like he was guided to do it. He loved to listen to music as he worked, listening to the Eagles and Fleetwood Mac as people drove past him admiring his work. They'd be on their way to work or back from school and they would see him out there, they'd see his artwork, and it would just make their day better. His signature hat has also been something he's had since he lived in California. And the spirit told him that he had to have something to, that people would recognize him by. And I guess he had, he had one of those hats, and he put it on, put on his white shirt and vest, and that's what happened every day. The hat will now sit on the back of his car, along with his broom and a quote in his honor. The amount of people that he touched in his life is just, it's still mind-blowing. After all, he showed us he could take a speck of dirt it's, it's and turn it into something beautiful. A lady that cleans, clean up the, the graffiti on the walls back in California said, said, this is one graffiti we can, the world can put up with because after the midnight breeze, the, the drawing is, is blown away. And that was Susie Castillo reporting. Tomorrow, a mass will be held at...